In the late 50s, a bigger, fiercer strain of cat appeared in a panther uniform. A player so tough that in the Steel City, they chose to call him Iron Mike. Mike did go, when you practiced against him, that he just wanted to rip your head off. And I can remember, we were, in fact, we were playing Boston College, it was Boston College, and we had just got the lead. And back in those days, that's your special team. You played special teams, you know, you know, we had to play both ways. And we were going to get ready to kick off, and Mike was so uh, fired up that he was going down the line, and, and he was just, you know, and a guy next to me, he had him so doggone hard, and the helmet almost knocked his helmet off. When he came up to me, I stepped back, and he just missed, and I said, if he had hit me, I don't think I'd have been able to run down the field. When you would see him in the huddle or getting ready to come out, I mean, he was, he was ready. He was just like a prize fighter in the ring, just couldn't wait for that bell to ring to go back out there. Mike Ditka was an intense, tenacious competitor, by far the toughest end to tackle in the country. But at Pitt, it was also his defensive play that helped earn him All-American recognition. I was really a, you know, probably a little better defensive player than I was an offensive player. The attitude of a defensive player is a little more aggressive, and that helped me on offense, too. I think it, that's the way you approach blocking. That's the way you approach catching the ball and running over people and everything else. You know, catching the ball means very little if you don't enjoy running with it. And I think it becomes a competitive one-on-one -on -one thing that you really don't want one person to bring you down. Ditka was a three-sport star at Pitt, also lettering in baseball and basketball and went on to have a Hall of Fame playing career in the NFL. Oddly enough, his high school coach had expected it to turn out rather differently. I wanted to be a dentist. That seemed to be the vogue thing to do at those days. Coach Ashman always wanted me to go to Pitt, and he wanted me to be a dentist. And, and uh, one out of two isn't bad. <laughs> 